afternoon. Um, great win today, 26-20 over Maryland at Sun Life this afternoon. And let me remind everybody, it's all about the U. Now, what a thriller. Today we saw a quarterback go up before our very eyes in um, Stephen Morris. And what he did on that last drive was just nothing short of having ice water in his veins. I mean, coming in as a freshman on that final drive, converting when we needed third down, when we needed a big third down convert, big third down conversions, we were four for six in the fourth quarter. Um, it was just what can you say? The kid has the, the kid just delivered when we had to we, we had to drive 82 yards with no timeouts and 306 to play. I mean, the the big if we got third and two, we go to Bur we go to Birdman for nine. Get 15 more on a roughing the passive penalty on Maryland. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Third and 11. What a gutty effort by Steven. He rushes for 16. And we get into Maryland territory at the 35. But then the big, then the next play. Morris to Hank for the game winner. You know, our D steps up. Holds, up, holds him late. And we went on to win the ball game. So, gutty effort by Steven today. Uh, what could you say? This was the defense stepped up when it had to. We did that. We needed this game more than Maryland did. Really, Maryland controls their own destiny. Still in the Atlantic, we don't in the Coastal. And basically, as big a game as this was for Fridge, this was definitely bigger for Randy Shannon. Had Shannon, had we lost this game, we would have been out of the ACC title race, and Shannon likely is gone. But hey, the big win today. We needed to have this win. We got it. We're six and three, and most importantly, we're bowl eligible again. That, that's that's good to have, but we have bigger goals in mind. Next week, you know, we have to play Georgia Tech. It's up in Atlanta. It's a noon game on the ACC network, but I'll talk more about them on Wednesday. But great effort, great win today. Now let me give out the grades for this ball game today. Offense, I'm going to give a B minus, and the reason I do that is because we committed ten penalties today overall. But the thing that bothered me immensely was seven of those penalties were on the offense. And a majority of those holding penalties. And that was a problem. That is a, we had over 100 yards of penalties today. And a majority of those were holding penalties on the offense. And that cannot happen. That cannot happen if we're going to go, if we're going to be teams like Georgia Tech next week and Virginia Tech the week after. You know, those, those we're going to have, now we're going to take our two toughest games at the end. We have to cut down on this, folks. We have got to cut the penalties out today. And the one on Spence was absolute garbage, okay? At the time, when they called that back, it was 18-17. We were up by two at, the, at that time. The touchdown would have put it up to eight, and basically it would have been game, lights out, game over. But the way we were playing at that point, we, had totally, do we totally dominated Maryland in the second half. In fact, we dominated them for the game 504 to 254 in total yardage. But we got them. But I'll tell you what, this was a this was a gutty win. Defense, I'm going to give a B only because the fact that the tackling was still a little poor, but we stepped up and made plays we had to make at the at the end there. The run D was sloppy at times today, but we but they came up big when they had to. I also like the fact that we. We did have a little bit of problems with tackling. It was a little off. Not kind for that fullback on that in that second quarter there. But overall, I can't complain. The D, the D did step up when it had to. I mean, the Hulk came to play today. That'd be Allen Bailey. The pass rush was good in the second half by Vernon. Of course, M-Rob there. Uh, but the run D was still sloppy. Tackling was still a little sloppy. But Ray Ray gets the pick. Bales is out, Bales is out there. Um, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, like I said, the Spence penalty was just utter garbage because it would, like I said, would have gone, gotten us to eight at that point. But I won't complain about that. Um, the tackling was still poor on that, even on that last Maryland drive. But the D stepped up when it had to make a play. We did today. Now the special teams, I'm going to give a D. The reason for that is two missed extra points. We allowed Maryland 
average field position, okay? The average field position of the Maryland Terrapins today, when you look at it, break it down number by number, they started their drives on an average, the average folks, they started drives at their own 32, okay? Well, we started our drives at our own 22. I mean, you got you got to win the battle of field position. The second half, you know, Maryland, you know, we we miss we miss extra we missed two extra points today. One blocked, one missed. You know, and, kick, and special teams, you know, the tackling we give up the hidden yards, and that's going to be a problem. I mean, you know, the net the net was pretty good for Maryland, but not good for us today. I mean. We give up an average. The average is 44-2. We give up almost 11 yards in a total, a net of 11. When you break it down, it's 11. 11 yards in field position. You can't do that. That's a good team. That'll kill you. I mean, Maryland had 52 yards in punt returns and 62 on kickoffs. That's over 104 yards in returns. I mean, and that's going to, of course, that's field position. You can't give up good field position against a good team like this. And expect to win. So defense, special teams. I'm going to give a D. Now I want to give out a game, give out two game balls today. Normally I like to give one, but I think should be the one I should have my game ball. But I'm going to give two game balls today. First one I'm going to give a game ball to is Lamar Miller. What a game Lamar Miller had today. 22 carries, 125 yards, one touchdown. Average 5.7 yards per carry. And the other game ball I'm going to give to is Stephen Morris. 18 for 30, 286, one touchdown, two interceptions, though, slapped three times, but that one touchdown drive was the game winner. And he rushed for another 13 yards on six carries. So, what the, well, I think today we found a quarterback in Stephen Morris. I think we did. And on that last drive, I think, yes, it's only Maryland. Maryland's a pretty good, good football team. What Stephen Morris did today was, I think, you saw a star be born today. A star was born today in Stephen Morris. So my two game balls go to Stephen Morris, and my other game ball goes to Lamar Miller. Next segment, I'm going to play the post-game press conference in its entirety of Randy Shen, play the highlights, and we'll go from there. So see you all in the next segment.